If you watch the last two training videos, you'll have a great idea of what working offline means. I'll go ahead and explain it here and then I'll show you what it looks like in action. First of all, to be working offline, that assumes that your company or organization took your Outlook program and set it up and connected it to their computer, which is called the Microsoft Exchange server. In other words, think of it this way. Your company has a big computer in some storage room that when you go back to your computer at your desk, when you open up Outlook and you look in, let's say, the inbox, all the messages you see there is actually not on your computer, but it's on the corporate computer. They have an account for you where you can store all your messages, all your appointments, contacts, and tasks, and so on. Now, if you want to be able to view these while you're disconnected or the Microsoft Exchange server's down, then you want to be able to create a copy of them onto your computer. To do that, the first time that you go offline by either clicking on the drop down arrow and going to work offline here or clicking on the arrow here to work offline the first time you click on it it should prompt you to say look do you want me to copy all the messages basically off the exchange server onto your computer go ahead and click yes and it'll copy everything that's current at that time the moment that you do work offline or that you are disconnected if there's any new updates either on your computer like you create additional appointments or contacts or on the corporate computer like they get new emails or somebody schedules an appointment sends you a meeting then the next time you go ahead and go back to working online which is again just clicking on the drop down arrow and unchecking if it was checked here work offline uncheck it it'll go ahead and connect you sync it back up and syncing means that whatever's different between your computer and the corporate's computer it's going to copy items back and forth until you're both equal until you have the same email messages, the same appointments, the same contacts, and so on. So you can see why it's important that you're able to copy these items onto your computer, all your appointments and contacts and so on. Because again, if you're on the road and you're not connected, there's nothing you can do. You won't have any messages to read, any uh, appointments to look at, any contacts to, uh, to reference somebody's street address or phone number. So let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. I'm going to go ahead and click on the drop down arrow here and say work offline. Now I'm disconnected, you can see it's offline. So anything that I do here, create new appointments, uh, click on a new email message, and go ahead and let's send it to Carrie and say something simple, hi. The moment I go ahead and click send, it sits in the out box. It's got nowhere to go because I'm disconnected, I'm offline. And then if Carrie sent me an email message or scheduled some appointments or has access to my calendar folder online because she's connected, then I want to be able to sync up with that to get these uh, appointments updated on my computer as well. So I'm going to go ahead and have her send me a message, and she just sent one off. And again, nothing's happening until I come back either down here or up here and click on File and go down and uncheck Work Offline. The moment I'm reconnected, watch the out box. It should shoot the email off for me, and I should get the email from Carrie. There it goes, and here it comes. You can go ahead and double-click, open it up, read the messages. Great. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.